After 37 years of living as a male, Don takes the first step in the transition process. He dresses as a woman in public and changes his name to Ashley. Transitioning process was actually quite terrifying. If someone could imagine going into the other sex bathroom in the other sex clothing for the first time, and it seems like everyone is looking at you. Also that perhaps could be killed or beaten, as happened to a lot of transsexual people. You know, I'd been to war, and it wasn't that terrifying. The society is not tolerant of men who are dressed like women, which is how a lot of trans women are perceived. The society is not tolerant of it, and furthermore, we make it the basis of a lot of really bad and uh, painful comedy. Until this point, Ashley and Tony have lived parallel lives. Then, in 2003, at a transgender support group, they meet. Tony came into my life, and we just seemed to hit it off. We really clicked together, and it's hard for me to say how um, amazing that really is. With Ashley by his side, Tony begins the second step in his transition, hormone therapy. Ashley actually gave me my first injection of testosterone. I believe it was January 6th of 04. The third stage will reshape their lives forever. Full sex change surgery together as a married couple. Well, the first thing they did is they took out all the female reproductive organs. First, they have to form the penis. With mine, it was constructed from the skin on the side of my right side. And it's a um, normal male-sized penis. You can still orgasm. You can still have that sexual pleasure. I would like to eventually get the erectile device. The scrotum is already built, but I haven't put the implants in for it. So those are the two main surgeries that I'm wanting. The genital reassignment surgery, um, what they do is they use the skin from the outside of the penis as a new vaginal lining. And then they invert what used to be the penis and, and make a new vaginal vault. And the testicles, they cut the, that away. And, basically make new labia. At first, it felt like I had a penis tied in a knot, you know? It, it was just a really odd feeling, but, um, you know, at the same time, it, it, it's, it works. While Ashley has her breasts augmented, Tony has his removed. They actually will take the nipples and, and cut them down to males size nipples because generally a male's nipples are a lot smaller than a female's. Ashley has her brow bone and chin restructured to give her a more feminine look. For me, it was part of feeling that I was in the correct body and that I could look in the mirror and see the person that I felt inside. The transition from man to woman is ongoing for Ashley. Hair removal is a constant reminder of her old life. A woman would have to ask herself, you know, how comfortable she would be walking around with a beard. And, you know, I just don't want to be the bearded lady, so I think it's, it's quite worth it for me. In the past, therapy tried to change the psyche to suit the body. It was fabulously unsuccessful. People were tormented by years of useless therapy. Now we realize the psyche stays, the body can be changed. <laughs>